hello friends welcome back to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss about the power bank okay so let's see what exactly we are going to discuss so whenever uh, we need a power bank let's say usually whenever we go out or let's say either for a trip or maybe something else okay we need a power bank because our mobile capacity is not that much that uh, we cannot go above one day okay certainly uh, the requirement is like that right so uh, nowadays but uh, mobile also gives very much uh, good battery okay around 5 uh, let's say 5k 6k okay and that is very good enough however let's say we need a power bank let's say if, uh, if that battery goes uh, let's say down okay in a day or maybe uh, in the evening time so certainly we require a power backup right so uh, then we can use the power bank and uh, uh, go ahead so uh, which kind of power bank we need to let's say we need to you buy actually it could be a 10 mh uh, let's say uh, or it could be a 20 mh right so i would suggest to go with a 10 mh uh, let's say i have i bought two uh, power bank one is of mi okay which is um, uh, seems to be good in, in good quality okay the size of the power bank is is uh, uh, bigger than this which i have this local which is of uh, from a unix okay the size of i i, I purchased this power bank because of this size of if you look at this size is very uh, very comfortable it is almost equal to my mobile so it is easy to carry and the, that is the reason i i bought this power bank okay certainly uh, this power bank will go a little less than this but uh, uh, it, it is useful so why i i do not suggest to go with the 20 uh, mh uh, the reason behind that is so reason behind that is let's say if you uh, uh, buy a 20 uh, mh bet uh, let's say power uh, battery or let's say the power bank then uh, you can charge uh, two mobile twice okay but uh, but it is always let's say uh, it is always difficult to carry two mobile uh, with the power bank okay and if you are driving uh, in a car then certainly it is it is possible but it is it is difficult okay because uh, uh, one power bank two mobile near to nearby uh, it, it sometimes create a problem and moreover let's say you cannot use it so if if you are carrying two mobiles and the other person want to use it okay uh, so it is not possible they cannot view also okay so sometimes it is it is uh, not much that much meaningful that uh, to um, charge uh, two mobile at the same time with the power bank okay and certainly it is um, it is required let's say if you can carry or if you can buy a two or uh, 10 mh uh, power bank okay then uh, probably it would be better because then you can uh, charge it individually okay whenever you require if you wanted to carry one power bank you can easily carry and if you wanted to carry the other power bank so sometimes we forget to charge as well right so in in case that case let's say there is a no use because uh, uh, if you have not uh, charged your power bank then it is it is not useful so if you have a two power bank if you have charged at least one then it will be useful okay so now i will come to the price point of view this one i bought it uh, uh, from a uh, uh, near uh, by market actually from a sangeeta it cost me around 1000 uh, 150 rupees it will equally cost you from uh, amazon as well okay and uh, you can see that it is 18 watt now we talk about little bit on technical side so it is of 18 watt uh, uh, let's say power bank it is fast charging 18 watt uh, fast charging uh, okay and uh, yeah uh, let's say it, it also there is a smart power ma smart power management and advanced 12 layer chip protection but yeah I, I we will not go about those things because uh, we don't know actually what those meaning uh, what those actually are we will just look at the performance and if it is good then it is it is good for us right so uh, other thing which you we need to look at is let's say the 12, 18 watt is yeah definitely we can look at because we can understand and uh, the output 2.1 ampere there are nowadays um, three uh or let's say 2.4 or uh, 2.1 and uh, 3 ampere should could be the good output okay uh, so considerably uh, it is yeah uh, it is okay okay because two around 2.4 output is okay uh, this is the another power bank which i already told about which i bought from a local market which is of unix uh, unix company okay it 
it also have a two output port okay two usb output port and uh, then um, yeah there is an indication over here with the led where it will say that what is the remaining uh, battery okay the size is very good and i use this power bank both of this power bank yeah the power i can charge uh, with this let's say i have a 6000 um, uh, battery or uh, let's say mh battery and i can charge it uh, let's say one plus sometimes let's say around 20 percent with this and one and a half times with this so it is good actually uh, this cost me this local uh, power bank cost me around seven 20 rupees around i can say that 700 rupees and this is 1001 so cost wise this is quite less and um, the still it is good because the what output i uh, got it from this is uh, it is good compared to the price so overall uh, in terms of power bank uh, availability and uh, co-hosting and uh, what i would suggest you to um, is to go ahead with um, a 10 um, thousand mh uh, two power bank certainly so if you can keep it uh, one charge always and the second one you can keep charging based on the need okay so you cannot you I, ideally you can you I, I would not suggest you to go for a 20 mh battery the reason being that the certainly it is not required if you go for a trip also your mobile will withstand around one around less than one day with this power bank you can go up to one plus day okay and uh, later on if you go for a trip also certainly you will come in the night also at the home or at the hotel and you will get a chance to charge it okay and uh, let's say by chance if you get uh, if you forget it then also then it will create a problem then uh, it is it is a problem so if you need a uh, uh, let's say a uh, uh, power bank which can easily go for two days okay if you you have a tendency to forget uh, the charging and other stuff like that okay then certainly you can go for a 20 mh because then you need to just keep uh, you just need to remember that i need to charge the power bank so i can go for two days at least so if you have a back-to-back -back traveling for two days where you will not get a chance to uh, charge your mobile or charge your power bank then certainly it is important to go for a 20 mh uh, power bank however uh, if you have a good uh, habit of charging your mobile um, maybe whenever required then uh, it is it is not required to go for a 20 mh because then it is it has not much it is not making much sense to go for a, a 20 mh okay a power bank and uh, let's say if you wanted to buy your wife for your family uh, let's say where you are traveling by a car so in in such cases it is it is still also 10 mh is good because you can go for a 10 mh power bank too but if you uh, let's say your wife doesn't care of such things or you only need to take care of such things then uh, probably also you can go for a 20 mh uh, power bank then you with with the same power bank you can charge you your mobile and your wife mobile so this these are the very much uh, uh, required information as for, as per uh, my point of view because before buying this i also thought of all all these points and i i think that that is uh, very useful because um, we always need to think from that point actually so if you think that this is the good for you as well this information is useful for you as well then uh, definitely you can um, click on a like and subscribe button i used to make this kind of video which which will be probably useful for you as well so thanks for watching this video and have a good day till then goodbye